Let's create our first UDFB. Expand the Logic Blocks folder in the Project Information window, and then right-click on the UDFB folder. New Logic Block. We're going to make a function block diagram. This is selected when you every time you create a new block and cannot be changed. We're going to name it Scale. The execution style also cannot be changed once created. And now let's define our inputs and outputs. So we're going to right click on scale and edit parameters. We're going to add an input and we're going to name it input. It's going to be of type int and select OK. And we're going to do the same with our outputs. Name of output, type real, and OK. Click OK. And if we go back to our tag database, let's go ahead and hide the system tags here. So these are the tags that we created from the tag database. These are all global scoped. And then these are the tags that are local scoped to our UDFB scale. And the nomenclature goes scale slash input, scale slash output. That indicates that these tags are local to the scale function block. So now that we've got a logic editor open, we can talk about the areas. This is just the block properties, and this is our instruction list area. We are going to add a function block, any to real. We're just going to drag it over into the work area. And the input to this is going to be the input to the function block, so we'll just double click here and grab the input. For the output, we're going to define a new tag. It's also going to be local to the scale, but it doesn't exist yet. So we're going to type in name of R input. The R in front of it is indicating that it's just the input in real format. And we're going to hit enter, and now it gives us the option to declare a new variable. We do want this to be local to scale, and type real is correct. So next we're going to uh, multiply by the slope and add the offset, and that's how we're going to do our scaling. Let's go to the arithmetic section and grab a multiply and bring it over here. The first variable is going to be that R input that we just created, so we can just add that guy. And the second one is going to be another new variable. We're going to create our slope. We're going to make sure this is a real, and it's going to be a local variable. And then the output is going to be the R input again. We're writing it back. And next we're going to add the offset. So we're grabbing an addition function block. First variable is going to be our input again, and the second one is going to be our offset. Again, we're creating a new tag here. It's going to be of type real and local to scale. The output will be our output. This shows you how the steps will execute. So it will take the input, convert it to a real, and then it will take the real input and multiply it by the slope and put it back into that input variable. And then it'll take the input and add the offset to it and put it into the output variable. All right, let's add some comments just to describe what we're doing. Convert input from int to real. Let's apply converted input by the slope. And add the offset 
to get our result. And so this completes the scale UDFB and now is a good time to compile and make sure there's no errors, no errors detected. Next we will create a second UDFB to initialize our scale function block.